Welcome back to a new video, ladies and gentlemen, a new One Punch Man chapter dropped, chapter 164, the abominable fist that turned against God. Yo, what a chapter title. Uh, the chapter dropped very late last night for me, so I wasn't able to make a video. We are here now, the cover is Garo, I'm assuming, the ultimate in martial arts and also how to be human, bro. I'm loving these, these chapters, and I'm very happy I decided to start reviewing One Punch Man. Uh, I've been wanting to bring it to this channel for a very long time, so guys, if you enjoy these videos and you want me to expand and do different content, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more varied content in the future. With that being said, let's just jump straight into this video. Alright, yo, jumping straight into it. The first page is the other heroes uh, paddling through town saying, we've got to find Taro. Anyone who can still move, come with me. Got to get to shore. They see Pig God laying in the water dead. Uh, they believe it's a drowned corpse, but when they turn him, he's obviously alive. He's, he's just swallowed a bit of water. Uh, and then that's it. I don't even know what the point of that was, but we're straight back into it. Garo looks like an absolute menace to society. He looks like a full-blown monster. He says, quit fucking around. And he's just... Yo, this is straight out of JoJo. Straight out of JoJo. I mean, there's no other way I can put it. He literally goes, Oda, 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 Oda. Starts massively punching Saitama. These two are clashing. Garo says, technique doesn't work. Speed isn't working. Power isn't working. Then it must be the amount of attacks. How the hell do I take this guy down? <laughs> Saitama's still joking around saying, Oh, how many hands can you grow? Jokingly enough, Garo actually does grow another pair of arms and again starts to punch Saitama. Saitama again jokingly saying, oh, you actually can grow more hands. Uh, Garo realizing that the number of attacks just doesn't matter. What about creativity? He then pushes Saitama, grabs Saitama with both his fists. Dude, I just want to say, this looks insane. Insane insane but he grabs Saitama with two of his hands and then blasts with his other two hands and feet sort of like a jet cannon and they crash into the earth into a mountain and it looks in oh. the art Murata what the fuck extreme power attack Bro, they hit the earth at such a speed. This mountain blows the fuck up. And they go and it it shockwaves into the core of the earth. Yo, this panel is crazy because I just noticed it now, but you can actually see the moon. You can see, like, it's zoomed out hella out. You can see the moon. The crater Saitama left on the moon. The impact these two just crashed into the earth. Like, almost breaking into, like, out of the earth's crust. This is gonna... Which is causing massive tsunamis and earthquakes across the ocean. Uh, once again, jokingly, as Saitama said last week, you keep trying to be evil, but all you do is keep saving people's lives. Are you really the supervillain you think you are? Uh, we see a plane that's crash landed. Uh, everyone's drowning. They're about to die. And all of a sudden, the water is gone. <laughs> I'm telling you, water is just gone. Because the impact these two made across the earth, somewhere else across the ocean, it just shifts the atmosphere of the earth. Like, I don't even know what to call it. I don't even know what to say. Shit just changes. And it's insane. It's so insane that we see Blast. Yo. I was trying to keep my excitement in. But we see Blast. It says in another dimension. Blast talks to his 
uh, seven other heroes saying this space around Earth is distorting. The magnetic and gravitational fields are going crazy. What's going on? If you look at the Earth, apparently the Earth is bulging. I'm not entirely too sure what that means. We then see three of Blast's companions. This girl looks to be a dark elf. Uh, black hair and elf ears usually resemble a dark elf. We see another guy who looks very similar to Boros. Ao. Uh, Ao. And then we see another one that's literally just a lion. He says something very interesting here. I can't imagine that any earthling could have managed such a thing. It's probably just an anomaly. Uh, either way, uh, they continue their fight against whatever they're fighting, saying that guy is going to break through the dimensional seal. We've got to hurry up and repair it. And that's, that's all we see. We see three of Blast companions a dark elf a new boros who looks insane and a lion uh basically with this i guess we can guess what is going on it looks like the greatest heroes from different dimensions uh that one's probably from an elf a dark elf uh world an alien world uh, a world where furries are real people i guess <laughs> Uh, and, and then they work together. Because uh, he says, I can't imagine that any Earthling could manage such a thing. So they clearly believe Blast is definitely the strongest on Earth. Uh, what Saitama and Goro are doing is clearly enough that it would even shock Blast. But back to the Saitama and Goro thing. It looks like Saitama is starting to get bored of this fight. And he finally starts to use abilities consecutive. Bang, bang normal punches blasting him and Goro out of the cave Goro's like I cannot keep up with him even with twice the fists he says to destroy the abominable fist that has turned against God I thought he was talking about me but it must have been about this guy Saitama lands bang a direct hit onto Goro blasting him through like four five oh my god like three mountains and it's just over Karo's just laying on the floor saitama lands the visual oh my god the way it's drawn is so insane saitama questions him are you satisfied Garo says it's no use i'm out of ideas neither technique power speed attacks or creativity is working saitama is just on another level he says if my dreams of absolute evil have fallen apart then let it happen by this man's fist he starts laughing saitama says what's so funny goro says i had a feeling somewhere deep inside that this wouldn't work goro charges at him one more time this is how i wanted to die all along Saitama actually, you know, Saitama isn't going to kill someone, especially human, for no reason. Grabs the fist and goes, enough. There's no point to keeping this up. You already know that, don't you? That you're just nowhere near my level. You're nowhere near my level. Garo says, kill me, kill me already. Saitama says, sounds like you have some hero issues after all. If there's something you want to talk about on all ears, they see a house... Just randomly a house in the distance and they go and sit and talk and that's how the chapter ends what <laughs> dude that's crazy what's actually even crazier is we see the moon it, again the, the symbolics the moon keeps coming back up we see the moon in the background what a crazy page holy shit Gar vs. Saitama's epic conclusion. Blast again in another dimension. What more could you want from One Punch Man? This is literally One Punch Man at its peak. You know what's weird? I've seen some people say they're not liking the One Punch Man manga right now. And I'm just like, what are you talking about? This arc has been insane. Holy shit, I've loved Garo's um awakening and all his powers i do hope however he does 
go back to looking more like a human because right now he's just he's got horns he's got he's literally a demon but yeah we'll see what happens with Goro uh in the next chapter if you enjoyed this video don't like comment subscribe i'll see you in the next video peace